Oh, I didn't say he was corny. I didn't say he was this. I didn't say he was that. I just said he can't fight. He's going to be getting them shots, getting hit. It's going to be, Freddie Rush ain't going to be at help. Help him with the towel, throw the towel in. I'll see you on the 27th, Gabe. Yeah, be ready. So yeah, for sure, this fight is definitely more personal than any other fight that I've had. I've had a fight before where me and a guy didn't see eye to eye, but I don't think it was a personal thing. This is a personal thing. This guy has came out in public and said some really nasty stuff about me. So for me, this is settling a debt. And it's also just, you know, getting back acclimated, getting into the rhythm of things. And uh, Gabe Rosado is a perfect stepping stone for that. Gabe is one of those guys who kind of got under my skin over the years for some things he has said. Um, he's gone on public and said that, you know, I don't deserve to be who I am. You know, I'm a fake person. When I was broadcasting, I'm a fake Andre Ward. And, you know, I don't deserve to be where I'm at. And I know that it was hard work and dedication and sheer sacrifice to get to that point. And still, you know, I'm still putting in the work to be recognized as one of the best in the world. And his career obviously didn't turn out the way I think he wanted to. So me being his peer, us coming up in the amateurs, us coming up you know, professionally together, you know, it's like a mislap. So I guess him wanting to kind of steal the shine or kind of you know, say some things to get under my skin so that he can be on this caliber to have these big fights, it worked, you know, but you know, he's getting what he wants, but I don't think he quite understands what exactly he's getting. He says all of these crazy things. I'm on a high horse this high horse that I'm on. I've earned it. I've put in the work. Since 15 years old as a kid to 33 years old as a man now, I've done everything that is necessary to put me in this position. Still can't believe that I'm actually getting back into it in this whole pandemic, but I mean, life goes on and we're making a way to still be progressive and give the fans what they want, so I'm excited. It'll be my first time, no crowd, which will be new, but it'll be Gabe Rosado's second time with no crowd, so he has more of the upper hand. He has more experience in this situation. So wish me luck. <laughs> I think it's crucial that I put on an excellent performance against Rosado because 
some fans are criticizing this fight. There are some fans out there that don't like it, that don't think he deserves to be in the ring with me or that we shouldn't fight because there's a gap. And I do believe that there is a gap, but I also believe that he is an entertaining fighter. So regardless to talent, I mean, Mickey Ward or Toro Gotti wasn't the most skillful fighters, but they gave that heart determination and they kept coming. And guys like that deserve chances. They keep boxing going. You know, he has a good rocky story to him. And I respect it. I don't understand why he doesn't respect where I come from, because I come from the realest of the real. Browns were up in New York, never ran, never will. So for me not to be respected, especially all that I've gone through to be where I'm at, it's time to show you. And you're going to be forced to respect me. I realize that I've been trying to do like the last maybe three years ago or and beyond or past. I would try to do special combinations and special combinations, but then when I took a step back and started doing basics. I started landing more. I saw my, my punch output started to be more. Basics is everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start with the basics, you end with the basics. Yeah, yeah. There's always ladders that you have to climb to get to that championship. And this is what it represents for me. Gabe Rosado is a, I wouldn't say he's a, a, a stern test, but he's a test. And it, it may cause for a great fight. I think it will. I mean, I personally think I'm gonna knock him out, but that's just me. But I do think that it'll be a good fight, uh, regardless, because he has that heart and determination. So, we shall see, but I'm looking forward to it. perfect scenario, I would love to knock out Gabe Rosado. I mean, I don't want to do it in a brutal way where anybody gets hurt. I mean, I want us to continue to have a career and go on and, you know, prize fight and make the most for our families and go on to the sunset. But as a competitor, I want to be able to create as much damage as I can so that he knows his words. <laughs> He's eating them, period. I expected for him to cop a plea and act like it was all just to get a fight. I knew that. Gabe Rosato. King Gabe Rosato. Yeah, just sparring, um, getting that good work in, and um, sharp fine tuning and sharpening up my skills. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Got some sparring partners that flew out. So we're going to test the waters today. Mm -hmm. uh, was 
spoke himself, but then he copped the plea. He made it seem like he didn't bash my name, and he just kept it all about boxing and said that, oh, I didn't say he was corny. I didn't say he was this. I didn't say he was that. I just said he can't fight. I just said I wanted to fight. He said some of the most disrespectful things. So to me, this is what I know now. Now you're just saying things to get a fight. So I feel much better. I know you ain't really about that. I know you ain't going to smack me when you see me. You just want to fight. So that's right. <laughs> right. He's the next victim. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's, now don't get me wrong. I like Gabe. I've liked him since the amateurs. I like him. Gabe is uh, a competitive person. So I really think that it's going to be competitive until we break him down because he's not a uh, aggressive fighter. He's passive aggressive. So he's going to milk the clock, waste time, uh, try to be cute. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's that's what he's going to do. But we we just going to stick to basic fundamentals. What we've been doing, like with him and I've been doing, we're progressing to basic fundamentals. We're going to break him down like a shotgun. And then we're gonna stop him. Ah, Freddie Roach can't fight for him. Listen, I can't fight for Danny. I can give him the instructions, like the Chevez fight. Uh, I give him instructions, we practiced it in the gym, and he performed it. Sometimes I have to bring him back to reality. But at the end of the day, when somebody, listen, I was in the Army, so it's like live fire and practice rounds. Practice rounds is when somebody's shooting at you, okay? It's a different story. But when you get that hot stuff coming out of you, like real rounds, it's a totally different story. You're going to act different. So he going to be getting them shots, getting hit. It's going to be, Freddie Rush ain't going to be at help. Help him with the towel, throw the towel in. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think my relationship with Faris Ahmad, um, as having him as my trainer, this will be our third fight together. I think it's just a stellar relationship in general because I respect um, his teachings. And I see that it works for me. And he's dedicated to making sure that I be the best that I can be. He wants me to get to that point where I can fully capitalize off of all my potential. And that's what you want in a trainer. You want a guy to not only believe in you and structure you the right way, but be there for you every step of the way. You know, and that's what he serves. He serves as one of the perfect trainers and leaders and, you know, just manly figures that I can have in my life because, you know, your boxing trainer serves as kind of like a father figure or brotherly or uncle or whatever figure you see fit, but I have that respect for him and, it, and it, it's mutual, so it works. Let your right hand do the defense, let your left hand do the work. Jump, touch. Touch. There you go, good turn. Camp is almost halfway over. I'm super ready. I'll see you on the 27th, Gabe. Yeah, be ready. 